Hey there everybody. I've had quite a few uh, requests to show kind of how we do some of our dance floor wraps that we've been doing for going on 10 years now. Um, so anyhow, this video is just showing a simple one that we've done. It's a 24 foot by 24 foot white dance floor. Um, and then there is a six foot by eight foot center graphic. So here is a quick video for you. All right, so here we're uh, measuring out the floor area. We're doing 24 foot by 24 foot. Uh, we've done this venue quite a few times, so we know that the stage is 16 feet. We're just going wall edge to wall edge here, um, which isn't exactly 24 feet, but it's gonna look the best, so. Basically, once we find our side edges, we put down some masking tape about every 60 inches just to give us our trim line after we lay the floor wrap down. The front edge, we don't tape because we've got a seam along that floor edge that we align the vinyl to. All right, since this floor is just white, it's pretty easy. Um, we take our material, we uh, lay it down, and we're just gonna roll out each section that we need. In this particular case, we need a little over five sections, so we're gonna roll out five sections here. And then at the end, we're just gonna use smaller, smaller pieces to do the finish rather than wasting the full length of a roll. All right, so we've, uh, we've, we've done these floors for a long time, so we have a couple of pieces of equipment that help us. Um, this is some aluminum um, that we've fabbed to basically work as a clamping mechanism for these long runs. It basically makes sure that we're getting even tension across the material. Um, I'm sure for some of you that have done car wraps, uh, bumpers, for example, you know, you know, doing the broom trick that kind of helps keep even tension across the material helps a lot. So when we're dealing with these 16, 18, 24, 30 foot runs, um, having that material or having that, that aluminum <clears throat> clamping in between the vinyl helps us to keep consistent pressure across it. Also makes it easier for gripping and, and holding the material when you're doing a lot of these. So what we do is at both ends, we just <clears throat> line up our uh, line up our run along our reference line. And then since we've got two of us here, we're just gonna do a simple hinge method. believe I'm putting on the knee pads right now.
So here all I'm doing is <clears throat> peeling back about eight to 10 inches of the, of the vinyl. And then I'm rolling the backing paper underneath, folding it flat. That makes it easier for us to peel it back after it's been set, after this edge has been set. As you can see, it's easier to peel that back now that I've had that folded over piece. So I've come out a little over halfway. <clears throat> and again, the distance we do these runs at varies depending on the width of the floor that we're doing. Obviously with white or a solid color, it's considerably easier because we don't have to worry about lining up every panel perfectly uh, versus when we do the printed floors. Definitely makes the install go quicker. Pretty much all our floors we do a one inch overlap <clears throat> even when we're doing print production um, just kind of keeps us consistent <clears throat> so basically i'm just taking a piece of one inch masking tape putting it down on the two edges and that kind of gives us our alignment mark for the next panel obviously with a printed material it's easier to do that alignment because you've got graphics that actually line up
All right, so we've got all the panels down. <clears throat> now we're uh, using that uh, straight edge and the tape that we had put down along those edges as references for doing our trim cuts. On a drop floor, um, obviously you can cut right to the aluminum edge of the drop floor, but uh, we do many of these directly on the floors for some of the venues, so this is the way we do this one. All right, so in this particular case, we're also doing a center graphic. <clears throat> so we'll take that center graphic. Again, we did a one inch overlap. <clears throat> so we'll tape those edges together based on the one inch overlap. Give us our reference for centering this graphic. Again, because it's not exactly 24 by 24, we couldn't pre-center it. Um, so we'll go back. You'll see in a minute, we'll go back and measure off the graphic and make sure that we're both centered vertically and horizontally. And then I'm just going to do a, a center hinge on this as well. I'm going to go ahead and break it apart just because I'm going to use the big squeegee for this and it's just easier. Takes an extra 30, 45 seconds. I didn't catch it on the video, but at the end here, we do sweep the floor and double check everything in the floor, make sure the edges are down, there's no bubbles anywhere, etc. And there you go, there's the, uh, the finished product. So there you go, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, make sure you like the video and subscribe and hit that bell for any notifications. Have a great one. Take care.